So in an earlier video, we've seen the mechanism for the addition reaction of hydrogen halides to conjugated dienes. In this video, we're going to look at how to control that reaction. And to figure out how to control that reaction, we need to remind ourselves about the mechanism. So in this mechanism, I said that the pi electrons in this bond right, are going to act as a base and pick up a proton from the hydrogen halide. And so those pi electrons in magenta became these electrons right here. And we added the proton onto carbon one, since that gave us a carbocation at carbon two, which is an allylic carbocation that is resonance stabilized. And so once we formed our allylic carbocation, right, there were there were some possibilities here. One possibility is the halide anion that was formed in the first step of the mechanism is going to function as a nucleophile here and nucleophilic attack the positively charged carbocation at the two position to give us the one two adduct as our product. So this was the 1, 2 adduct down here. So the 1, 2 adduct like that. The other possibility is that once I form my first allylic carbocation, I know that that allylic carbocation is resonance stabilized, right? So the electrons in this pi bond are going to move over here to the right in my resonance structure. And that takes away a bond from carbon number four. So carbon number four is right here. And this carbon lost a bond. So this becomes my positively charged allylic carbocation in my mechanism. And so now my halide anion is free to attack carbon four. And I would get the halogen adding on to four and the proton adding on to one. So this is the one four adduct. So let me go ahead and make that blue here. So we get the one four adduct. Uh, this way. So I have the 1, 2 adduct and the 1, 4 adduct. And I can actually control which one of these two products is, is the major organic product in my reaction. And to do that, we have to think about the stability of these alkenes that are produced. So if I look at the 1, 2 adduct and I want to know how stable it is, I have to think about the degree of substitution across my double bond here. So it helps to draw on your hydrogens so you can see what's going on. All right, so if I draw on my hydrogens on that alkene, I can see there are three hydrogens. And then I can easily see there's one R group on that alkene. So it's mono-substituted. Right? So this alkene on the left is mono-substituted. It has one R group. On the right, I'm looking at the molecule on the right here. And uh, it's easy if I draw on my hydrogens right across my double bond. I can see there are two hydrogens. And so there are two R groups uh, on this double bond. And so this is a di-substituted double bond. Bond. So I have a di-substituted alkene, which I know from earlier videos is the more stable one, right? So this is this is more stable than the mono-substituted one. So this one is less stable. So the mono-substitute is less stable, the di-substitute is more stable. And so under certain conditions, the 1,4 addict is going to be the major product. And we call those conditions thermodynamic control. So if I go ahead and write thermodynamic control here. Uh, all I'm talking about is a little extra heat. So if we add some heat to this reaction, right? this reaction will be under thermodynamic control, and the most stable product is going to win. So in the mechanism, the additional heat is going to give enough energy for the carbocation on the left to change into the carbocation on the right, and therefore the halide anion is going to attack at the 4 position, and we will get the 1,4 adduct as our major product. So if you heat the reaction up a little bit, everything's at equilibrium and you're going to form your more stable product under thermodynamic control, which is your 1,4 adduct. If you want to make the 1,2 adduct, you have to do something a little bit different. You have to cool it down a little bit. So if you cool down your reaction conditions, right? So if you cool it down to say zero degrees, you're going to form the 1,2 adduct as your major product under what's called kinetic control. So kinetic control from general chemistry refers to the rate of reaction, so how fast the reaction occurs. And the 1, 2 adduct is actually the fastest product formed. And we can see why if we look at the mechanism. So if we go back up here, right, in the first step of the mechanism, right, we formed our carbocation, our allylic carbocation. We also formed our halide anion. And we can see that our halide anion 
uh, is going to be on the right side of our carbocation, right? Here's our halide anion on the right side of my carbocation. And therefore, the halide anion is very close to a carbocation at the two position. And so this halide anion does not have very far to go to nucleophilic attack a carbocation at the two position. So it's very close to that. And so that's why the 1, 2 adduct forms the fastest. Because if I think about the 1, 4 adduct, the halide anion is still on the right side of my carbocation, but this time it has a much longer way to go, right? The halide anion has a long way to go over here to the right, and if there's not enough energy in the system, right, the halide anion isn't going to get there. So it's all about, it's all about the proximity of the nucleophile to the electrophile. And since, in the example on the left, the nucleophile is very close to the electrophile, it's going to add the fastest. And so the one, two addict product would form the fastest. And so if you keep things cold, there's not enough energy uh, to form the 1,4 addict and your 1,2 addict would be the major product under kinetic control. Let's go ahead and do an example of, of how we can control the product in the addition reaction to a conjugated diene. So I'm going to start with a conjugated diene here and I'm going to make it symmetrical. Okay, so there's my symmetrical conjugated diene. And it's going to be, let's, let's react it with hydrochloric acid. So I have HCl right here, like that. And if I number my, my conjugated diene here, it's symmetrical. So it doesn't really matter which one I make number one. I'm just going to say that's one, two, three, and four. So we're going to react that symmetrical conjugated diene with hydrochloric acid. And we're going to do it uh, two ways. All right, so the first reaction, we're going to keep things cold. So we're going to keep things at zero degrees here. And so when I think about the mechanism, I know the first, the first step of the mechanism is for pi electrons to act as a base and pick up a proton. Since this is a symmetrical conjugated diene, it doesn't matter which pi electrons I use. I'm just going to say the ones between one and two. All right, so those electrons are going to function as a base and pick up this proton, which kicks these electrons off onto chlorine, forming the chloride anion here. So let's go ahead and draw the resulting carbocation. So once again, I have to think to myself, where is that proton going to go? Is that proton going to go to carbon one, or is that proton going to go to carbon two? And I know that the proton is going to go to carbon one, because if the proton goes to carbon one, that gives me a carbocation at the two position, which is now an allylic carbocation, right? So that positively charged carbocation right here is right next to my double bond, so I can see that I have an allylic carbocation here. In the next step of the mechanism, right, our chloride anion functions as a nucleophile. So I have my chloride anion here with a negative one formal charge, functions as my nucleophile. And since things are cold, right, the chloride anion is very close uh, to this allylic carbocation, and it attacks at the two position. And let's go ahead and draw the product for this reaction. Right, so if I, if I have the chloride anion attack at the two position, Right, so now my chloride anion adds on the two position. There's still a methyl group at the two position, and I still had my double bond here and a methyl group here. So this would be the one two adduct, right? So this would be the one two adduct, which is the major product under kinetic control, right? Because we cooled things down in this reaction, so we're going to get the one two adduct as the major one. If I did this reaction and uh, again, but I changed the reaction conditions. Right, so we're going to once again react this conjugated diene with hydrochloric acid, but this time we're going to heat things up. This time everything is under thermodynamic control. So the first step of the mechanism is exactly the same. Right, the, uh, the pi electrons function as a base, pick up a proton, and the carbocation that results is going to be the allylic one, so therefore the proton adds on to carbon one, and the carbocation is now at carbon two this time, is, is at carbon two this time, just like before. We have our double bond and our methyl group like that. So now, since we know this is under thermodynamic control, we know that we're going to get a resonance structure here, right? So we're going to go ahead and draw the resonance structure for this guy. And we know that these pi electrons are going to move in here, and I will get my resonance structure. So if I move those pi electrons in there, right now I have my methyl groups and my alkene. And I took a bond away from 
uh, carbon 4, right? So if I number these again, this would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I took a bond away from carbon 4, so that's where my carbocation is going to go now. So my carbocation is at carbon 4. Go ahead and finish my resonance brackets here. And so my chloride anion is now going to function as a base. Right, and uh, it was it was actually up here to start with. So let's go ahead and put our chloride anion up here. And it has a longer way to go this time, but it doesn't matter because now we're under thermodynamic control, and so the chloride anion is going to add on to the four position, and therefore our major product, right, will be the one four adduct. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw my ring here, and I know that I formed an alkene right here, and I know that the chlorine is going to add on to carbon four like that. And so this is going to be my, my major product. And of course, under thermodynamic control, your most substituted alkene is going to be your major product. This is a tetra-substituted alkene. So let me just go ahead and write here, 1, 4, adduct, because we added a proton to 1 and our halogen to 4 for our 1, 4 adduct, which is more stable than the 1, 2 adduct if you heat things up. And so we've seen how you can control the addition reaction of conjugated dienes simply by changing the temperature.